Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on functions and a beginner's guide to calculus. Now, this particular presentation is all about split functions. Now, split functions are functions that follow a certain rule and then change or swap to another rule. Okay, they're sometimes called piecewise defined functions. Now, the easiest way for me to um, talk about a split function is to draw a little graph. Okay, so don't worry about this too much. Um, the important thing here is that you've got a function that's defined in sort of in, in a split personality kind of way. Okay, so if I was to draw some axes and let's say I put in a point A what this says is that okay so for on the right hand side of A your function satisfies a certain rule here it's g of x and then on the left hand side oh, that should be colored in and that should be open the function might look like this so this is your h of x okay you can see as we move from left to right there's an abrupt change here in this picture there's a jump but it do, you don't need to have a jump so for example let, let me just give you a another simple picture here suppose i had a split function that was where g of x was x and h of x was negative x so you'd have something like this then okay here's negative x and here's your x so in this case g of x would be x h of x would be negative x and you can see the change happens at a equals zero okay so let's do an example and see um, how this fits together. All right, this is a pretty simple example. Consider the function f defined in this kind of split or piecewise way to the right of 1, the function is 4 minus x, and to the left of 1, including the point 1, the function is 2x minus 1. Okay, now you can draw a picture, but it's not necessary. I'll just do the algebra first, and then maybe I'll draw a picture in a minute. Okay, so we're asked to compute three values. When x equals 0, when x equals 1, and when x equals 3, we want to calculate the values of our function. Okay, so let's do that. So for the first one, we want to calculate the value of this split function when x equals 0. So the jump happens at 1, okay? So this is the definition for x to the right of 1. This is the definition for x to the left of 1. So 0 is definitely less than 1. It's to the left of 1. So this is the definition that we want. Okay, so 0 is less than or equal to 1. Lies on the left, or to the left. So, f of 0, in this case, we want this definition, this, this function. Okay, so I'm going to write that like this. So what this square bracket means is that this is our function, and we're about to substitute or evaluate it at x equals 0. So if I replace x with 0, I get 2 times 0 minus 1, which is just negative 1. Okay, let's go and do the next one. So, what happens when x equals 1? Well, at x equals 1, we want this definition again, because x, in this definition, x is less than or equal to 1. So if x equals 1, I'm still in this zone. Okay, so let's 
So f of 1, our split function would be this function at x equals 1. Okay, so if I replace x with 1, I get 2 times 1 minus 1, so that's just 1. Okay, so last value, f of 3. So 3 is greater than 1. It lies to the right of 1. So we don't want this definition. We want this definition here. Okay. So 3 is strictly greater than 1. So, f of 3 is just this function evaluated at x equals 3. Okay, so it will be 4 minus 3, which is just 1. So our answers, f of 0 equals negative 1, f of 1 equals 1, f of 3 equals 1, okay? Now, let's see if we can draw a little picture to give us some insight into this. Now, I'll just draw a little sketch, okay? So, if I just draw in some axes here, and this is just going to be rough. Let me pull that down a bit, okay? So, the jump point occurs at, say, 1. So, to the right of 1, we've got the straight line 4 minus x. So that's a decreasing function. And um, uh, it'll be heading towards positive 3. OK, so it's going to look something like that. OK, again, just a very rough, rough sketch. And this might be 3, OK, because um, Oh, sorry, 4. It cuts the x-axis at 4. Okay, what about this function? Well, this function, on the other side, this is an increasing function. It's got, it's again, it's a straight line. It's got a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 1. So if I sort of put negative 1 there, this function here will actually, um, at x equals 1, I get, I just calculated that, I get... Um, uh, 1, so it'll look something like this. Okay, so there is a little curve to see um, what's happening here. Okay, so let's just make sure that that actually aligns with our, with our answers, at least intuitively. F of 0, well, that's just there. That should be negative 1. Yes. F of 1, that looks like it's 1. Yes. F of 3, that looks like it, it's heading down to 1 there. So I think we're okay. So you can do a lot with split functions. Split functions are great because they helped us to describe functions that go through a change. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more introduction to functions and calculus uh, soon. Please join me again. See you later, everyone. Bye.